So, um, since we are in Berlin right at the moment, actually, or oh, well, we just came We home. will be, yeah, we're probably in a coma. Yes. Um, we decided to skip this week's 343 and just give you something else instead. And this is nearly as exciting, we hope, since we are going to do our 50 K-pop facts today. So it's basically just 50 random things concerning K-pop and concerning us. So we hope you enjoy this and let's get started with fact number one. Glitter and mine seem to have the same taste in guys since most of the biases are the same. Lisa likes guys with sleazy eyes. Greta and Lisa have both been to Korea before. The first concert we attended together was Sea and Blue in London. But so far we also have attended Teen Top, Infinite and Vix. Combined, we do own 230 cities, doubles not counted. We plan on living together in Korea in the not so distant future. We still get excited about every single subscriber we get, which basically results in spazzy cat talk conversations. Marin once hid several pictures of Minsook all over the apartment for Lisa to find. The meanest thing we do to each other is send each other pictures of our biases. By now, Greta has a folder where she only saves Sehun pictures to talk to me. Maren and I are still planning to get Greta a life-size Jongin cutout for her birthday. In our best times, we just ordered monthly at G-Market. When we go to costumes, everyone recognizes us. We got recognized once so far by a subscriber. Maren shares her birthday with Takuya, I share mine with Muriel, and Lisa hit the jackpot with sharing her birthday with Dudun, Dari and Hangbyeol. We usually stay as far as possible away from non debuted groups because they can break your heart. Maren and I hugged Bak Jungmin. There are a lot of things we are still waiting for to happen. For example, for SS501 to have a comeback. For GOD's comeback. For EXO to be woken up in their dorms in front of the camera. For FX to get an official cover, an official fan club and finally their first solo concert. All of us have kissed a member of 2PM on the lips. The first fansite book we ordered was No Matter What from Iridescent Boy and it basically set the standard for fansite books so high. K-pop has directly and indirectly determined our lives in many different ways. Our reactions to GIFs on Tumblr or photo book previews are way stronger than every MV out there. Sadly, Maren is a master of nearly catching items at concerts, but she's also luckily a master of finding leftover things after concerts on the floor. All of us had a JBAG bias at one point in one group. We saw Songyeol's nipple. Right. All of us love going to Norebang. All of Lisa's and Maren's house plans are actually named after Infinite members. Greta once accompanied a friend to the airport to see EXO, and she'd never ever go there again. It was worse than expected. We try to stay as far away as possible from airport and stalker fan camps. The first K-pop songs we heard were Balloons by Dong Bang Sinki in Lisa's and Maren's case and Empty from JYJ in my case. Lisa's first K-pop bias was Ituk, while mine was Siwon and Kratos was the June. <laughs> Neither of us has just one ultimate bias. We really dislike Japanese remakes simply because they are either super expensive or quite boring. As much as we love K-pop and the Korean culture, we would never glorify a country. Nothing is perfect and it's important to stay aware of that fact. Greta and I both stood on stage at SM Town in Seoul. Lisa and me actually high-fived she won. Lisa once sold my one-shot album because she thought she was selling the first copy of two and then she realized that she sold both. Lisa also traded my Sehun photo card for a Minsuk photo card. Our current cell phone background images slash lock screens are... We do like girl groups and we think you should give every group a chance regardless of their gender or company or also of their fandom. We do consider discography complete once one owns all Korean albums. Japanese albums do not really count for us. We all agree that we could single-handedly manage NH Media, DSP Entertainment or core contents better than the current CEOs. Maron actually owns a cat named Yusup. We do read fanfiction. We get super excited for the year and Gaius every single year and religiously watch them live, at least as many of them as possible. 
we are not too crazy about photocards, meaning we do trade them, but we are not actually buying them. And we only trade them against the version from the same album. Mar and Lisa actually collect EXO photocards, but nothing else. By now we own more posters than we could ever put up in our apartment. And we still can't stop getting them with every K-pop album we buy. Fact number 50. We just booked our flight tickets to Korea for this summer. Woo! So, thank you again for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to leave us any facts about you, feel free to write them down in the comments if you share any of those facts with us. Also, if you know about other texts we could do concerning K-pop, you could also leave suggestions down below or send us a message and talk to us and everything. We're always really happy to talk to you. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see us talk about K-pop more, you can just check out our vlogs. We have a nice little playlist. If you like MV reactions, you could also watch those on our channel. And if you like anything of this, you could subscribe. So, we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.